So the next piece we're, that we're going to do once now that we've finished the zip is um, join the shoulder seams of the front and the back and join the shoulder seams of the facing and then we're going to um, put them on the neckline. So that's facing done. Now I'm going to join the front, the front shoulder line. Here to the back. So it's right sides together. I'm just going to do one stitch, one centimetre stitching over there. So with the right sides together, I'm going to start at the back <coughs> and I'm going to pin on the facing. I'm going to have the seams open as we go over the uh, shoulder line. <coughs> so, so on the back we've got a one and a half centimetre seam. And you'll find that this notch will match where the dart is. And the dart you fold towards the shoulder. And then I pin the shoulder. Now do open seams on both the shoulder and the facing. Ow. So there you can see I've got the open seam on the facing and the open seam on the shoulder. And then next I'm going to come down and pin the curve of the neckline. And I'm trying not to stretch because this has some stretch in it. I'm trying not to stretch it as I'm going. Now if you do, if you um, heard the, the video where I mentioned to put a notch on the centre front of the 
of the um, facing as well as the dress. You'll those two notches match as well. So place a pin there and then back over to the other side the curve of the neckline. Again, open seams. And again, turn your, the bulk of your back dart, back neck dart, to the shoulder. We come over um, to there. To the centre back, which leaves you one and a half centimetres here. So I'm going to stitch that in. Using a one centimetre seam allowance. Ooh. Checking that I'm well away from the metal part. So if I hit that, it's going to break a needle. As you go around the corner, just gently go around, keeping as much to the one centimetre seam as you can. Until you get it straight again. Again, going around the corner as gently as without stretching your fabric. Okay, make sure, I'm just going to make sure that I've still got my zipper and the top of the neckline even. Yep. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip in the curve of the neckline. Right. I'm going close to the, the stitching line, but I don't want to get too close. I want to accidentally snip. Snip through the stitching. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> so what that allows, it allows to pull it through to the back and we end up with a nice flat turn on the curve. That's why we do this snipping, it all opens up as you can see and allows for that. And the other part I'm going to do is just here as we go around the neckline, at the back neckline near the shoulder, there's a slight little curve here. I'm just going to put two two there and two on the other side. And then after that, I'm going to do a top stitch, a holding stitch for my back with the seam going towards the, the facing. Well, this will be about three or four mil away from the fold, the join of the seam. The same with coming along the neckline, try not to to stretch it. see as we turn that in when I turn that over that will sit nice and oh what you doing now me I'm just flattening having a look at it that's all. That's it. To get it to sit nice and flat. And when you iron that, press it down with a warm cloth maybe. That sits like that. So I'll hold back there, that lays down there and what we're going to do at the centre back is we're going to pull this under like that, fold it over and then we're going to stitch it down. at the front as close to that stitching line as we that's already in there is that better mm -hmm. not really no i had it hold on So what we do, fold it in. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to fold this in the excess seam allowance that we've got there and then fold it down. And then we pin it. On the front. And we're also back here at the seam allowance, at the shoulder seam. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to put a holding a holding stitch in the just there for a little bit maybe That's it, right in the middle of the seam right on the seam line yeah, so then we can't see I'll it I'll okay. do it this way so you won't see it on the outside even though it's there So to show you that again, open seams. For both. Making sure I'm not folding over way too much. And then I'm going to pin it and stitch it through there. there so you won't see it and this will all sit down nicely okay oh, I'm getting a bit thick they good yeah good thanks stitch down there so I'm just going to work around the dress And that's the front and the back. If you want, you can hand stitch the back to this dart there and there. You can hand stitch that rather than stitch it by machine if you prefer. You cannot really do anything to the center front. You can maybe put a couple of little stitches there as long as they don't pull because there's nowhere else to hold it. So that's the neckline done. Now we're going to move on to the sleeve. Attaching the sleeve. Much easier job. <laughs> 